Hello, my name is Keith Smith and welcome to this video on drill cutting data. In this video we're going to look at how to determine the proper speeds and feeds for drilling operations. The major factors that will come into play are drill type and material to be drilled. Drills come in all different types. They come in different lengths, geometry, some have special coatings, but the main difference are the type of materials that they're made from. Drills can be made of high-speed steel, solid carbide, or have carbide inserts. In this video, we will focus mainly on looking up information for high-speed steel drills. As with any machining, material to be machined is the other major factor when determining cutting speeds and feeds. Softer materials such as aluminum or brass will have higher cutting speeds than, say, stainless steel or titanium. We will use pages from a manufacturer's catalog to look at determining cutting speeds. The pages from this catalog have been shared with you in Canvas. Let's look at the first page. This page contains general information about drills such as drill tolerances, handy formulas, and general values for feed rates. This second page has more specific cutting data for drilling. On the left are various types of materials commonly machined. The next column has to do with suggested tool geometry and makeup. This column contains cutting speed. Note that the values here are in surface feet per minute and not spindle RPM. Finally, this column on the far right contains the suggested cutting fluids to be used. Many materials can be successfully machined using soluble oil, but some require special cutting oils. This next page describes some of the applications of different surface coatings. Coatings can reduce friction and increase cutting speeds and feeds. For instance, look at drills treated with titanium nitrate. The recommended application for this would be both ferrous and non-metallic materials, but notice that it's not recommended for titanium and titanium alloys. This last page shows how these different coatings impact cutting speeds and feeds. So let's apply these values to a Mastercam project. I'll create a drilling toolpath, first starting with the spot drill. So uh, under toolpaths, drill, and I'll select this hole right here. This hole is going to end up being a 3 8 diameter hole, uh, but we'll start with a uh, half inch uh, spot drill. That way we can uh, make the ch uh, spot drill drill just a little bit bigger than the 3 8 diameter, so we're left with a little edge break on, our, on the hole. And uh, let's look at the values suggested for drilling and uh, we'll find out that for the aluminum alloy, which we're uh, machining in this Mastercam project, um, the suggested speed is 180 surface feet per minute. So we'll plug that number in. And then uh, the feed rate is uh, suggested to be uh, for a 3 8 diameter drill, uh, 10 thousandths feet per revolution. Okay, so um, we have a feed rate of uh, 10 thousandths per revolution. And so uh, notice that in Mastercam the uh, feed rate value here is expressed in feet per tooth as opposed to uh, feed per revolution. So there's two cutting uh, lips on a typical drill two cutting edges. So um, instead of entering a value of 10 thousandths uh, in this box here, we're going to want to put a value of 5 thousandths per tooth, which then for every revolution uh, will advance the drill 10 thousandths. So we'll accept that. One, one, also, one other thing that I do want to mention here is that this spindle speed has been based, um, Mastercam has based it on a half inch tool, which it should have, except uh, we're not actually going to drill all the way to a half an inch. Um, the effective cutting diameter of this spot drill really is just going to be 400 thousandths. It's slightly bigger than the 3 8 drill, leaving a little edge break on the hole. So um, 
we're gonna just manually calculate this uh, spindle speed by using the uh, formula four times uh, surface feet per minute divided by the diameter is equal to RPM. So we'll take the 180 surface feet per minute and we'll multiply that times 4 and then we'll divide that by 0.4 or the effect of cutting diameter ending up with a spindle speed of 1800 RPM. So you know notice you know we're starting with a feed rate here of almost 14 inches per minute but when we uh, change this value to 1800 RPM and then readjust the feed per tooth back to five thousandths uh, we end up with a feed rate of 18 inches per minute so significant difference uh, on the linking uh, parameters um, we're gonna calculate the depth here based on uh, ending up with a chamfer of 400 thousandths so we'll just click on this uh, calculator button and we will tell Mastercam that we want this chamfer to be about 400 thousandths and then uh, the flat on the tip of the tool. So most, um, you know, any drill has a chisel point at the end, a flat at the end. And um, on a spot drill, half inch spot drill, you probably find out that that flat was about 30 thousandths, which will affect uh, the depth that it'll calculate. So we'll go ahead and accept that. And uh, we'll accept this. And uh, now that's done. So let's go ahead and take a look then at the um, uh, programming the um, 3 8 drill. So again we're going to still be drilling this hole and um, on the tool we'll uh, select a 3 8 drill and then for surface feet per minute well that hasn't changed we're still drilling aluminum and uh, the proper uh, speed for aluminum is 180 surface feet per minute so we'll plug that number in here and then on the feed per tooth, well, again, uh, we have a feed per, per revolution of 10 thousandths. Um, um, so we'll go ahead and instead of putting in 10 thousandths in this value here, we'll put in a feed per tooth of 5 thousandths. And uh, then we'll end up with a feed rate of just slightly over 18 inches per minute. On the uh, linking parameters, uh, if you saw the print, the diameter of this hole is supposed to be uh, one inch deep. So that's the, uh, the diameter. So our drill is going to have to go slightly past one inch in order to have a diameter that's a, you know, a full diameter of an inch deep. So uh, that's where this uh, tip compensation uh, page comes into play. <coughs> Uh, we are using a 118 degree uh, drill, so we'll just activate the tip compensation and uh, we'll go ahead and accept that. All right, so uh, that's just some of the things that you have to go through in order to properly program um, a drill, you know, get the proper speeds and feeds for a drill in, in Mastercam.